Welcome to The Actor's Choice, where the actors and actresses have a chance to talk about themselves and their careers. Join us now for the next hour as we explore the marvelous industry of acting by actors and actresses from today's exciting show business world. And now, direct from Hollywood, here's your host, Ron Brewington. Hi everybody, I'm Ron Brewington and welcome to The Actor's Choice, brought to you by the photography as an art, Harvey Brandman, master photographer, located at 1307 North San Fernando Boulevard, Burbank, California. And attorney Ron Irwin's book, Haiku, Style, Passion, Heart, and author Larry Buford's book to the future, Time Travel, Message in a Capsule, and State Farm Agent Carla Green, and a new sponsor, veteran actor Rob Brownstein's training facility. He calls it an actor spice. Move. <laughs> What you just saw is Lupin 3, and the person, the voice behind that, is sitting right here in the studio with us with his lovely wife, uh, my first guest, renowned actor, voice actor, director, who has voiced over 600 characters in video games, animation, and anime. He's best known as the voice of Bet. Batu in the in the Ghost in the Shell franchise and many many others, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Richard Epcar. Hi Ron. Hi, Ron. Hi Richard. Nice to, fine, nice to see fine. you. There's a for... lovely long lady Lily yes. sitting next to you. She, Let's introduce her. her. You keep her for another thirty-seven years. Another thirty-seven years. Mm -hmm. All right, that sounds good. <laughs> Roll it again, my brother. Then sit down! Who are you and what the hell do you want? Stay out of this. I will not stay out of it. This is my husband. This is my house. You shoot him. You're gonna have to shoot all of us. Now what? Ellen Stern, my next guest is a renowned actress. She has garnered more than a hundred IMDb actor credits, and what would you say? Hundreds. hundreds. Okay, yeah. I'm with that. I'm with that. She's known for her work on Bleach, the movie two, The Diamond Dust Rebellion, 2007, Lupin, the third Legend of a Goal of Babylon, 1985, and she's been married to that handsome young man sitting over there, Richard <laughs> Ekpar, Ekpar, since August of 1982. It yes, is a long is. time. Wow, it that's is. a long time. And it's interesting because in this business, you're an actress, you're an actor. Y'all go in different places. When yeah. do you have time to see each other? Well, you know, we've, we've worked out a schedule. <laughs> and many times, because we have a company, Epcar Entertainment, yes. that we do a lot of our projects under. We both direct, we both write, we both act. And so lots of times we're crossing uh, on the same projects. And when we're not doing the same projects, we understand and we each go our own way and then we come back for dinner. <laughs> we're, we're fortunate. We get to work a lot together quite a bit, actually. Mm -hmm. I see. And we do a lot of uh, jobs together. And I've directed Ellen a lot of stuff. She's directed me and stuff. And uh, mm -hmm. so it's good. It works out well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and uh, we're doing something really exciting we'll talk about a little later. Okay. Yes. But, uh, we're doing please. it together. Hear about so, that. Yes. Yeah. Now, you guys just got back from overseas. Please tell the world what you did, please. Oh, 
Well, first we were in Kauai. <laughs> Kauai, okay. Uh, I almost died. She almost died. That's along with our daughter, yeah. and uh, we got caught in a riptide. We were there for our anniversary, yeah, and our son went across the river to the other side, which was about 20 feet, and our daughter... And well, tell I, them what happened. They were they they crossed over. There was a there was a river that was coming off of the ocean, and then it went it went back into the ocean, but it kind of funneled. And as it funneled, it got more turbulent and more dangerous. And they crossed over there to go onto these jagged lava, lava rocks. rocks. Mm -hmm. And they were trying to come back, and the current was being pulled out. All of so. a sudden, the current was pulling all of the ocean. All of the river, all of the sand yeah, underneath they were our feet. On. So they were so, being pulled out into the so ocean. So Richard was taking pictures of us, and he thought we were playing and laughing. <laughs> and somebody shouted Good to help. him, I was, huh? They're in trouble. You'd better go help. Yes. So he grabbed our son. Our son crossed the river through yeah, the riptide and grabbed on to me and pulled our daughter me and my daughter across to the shore and then he was he getting started losing his in. his footing. footing so richard yes. was at the shore i was on the shore thankfully and i could grab them and they we made a you know human they chain made... and brought everybody in but it was it's pretty scary if not for two seconds later i wouldn't be sitting here mm. yeah i would have been gone and my daughter yeah. and yeah, well, Maybe even thankfully, our son. Wow. Thank God so, it all worked out. Okay. Worked out. Other than that, Kauai Amen. was wonderful. Kauai was great. A week after we got back from Wait, I have Kauai. a quick, can I, can I, I <laughs> oh, want to, I want to tell a quick, <laughs> quick story. This is kind of an off topic, but it's kind oh, of cool for me. to tell your restaurant Because, because, because Ron knows that I'm a huge James Bond <laughs> fan. Yes, yes. So yes. anyway, we're, we're, this is the night after this incident. We right. went and had a nice dinner at an yes. Italian restaurant in Kauai. Mm. And uh, I ordered some seafood dish, and my son ordered a bottle of red wine. Well, the waitress is pouring the red <clears> wine, and while she's pouring the red wine, I said, make sure you don't tell James Bond I'm having red wine with fish. And, was, and this is so bizarre. It was almost uh, on cue. As soon as I said that, Pierce Brosnan walks in the door. <sighs> So that was bizarre, and I, I raised my glass to him. He gave me a little wink and a smile, and I thought that was good. Do you know him? I don't know him. I certainly know of him. Oh, of course. Yeah, but uh, but it was really nice to see him. And I didn't want to bother him. He was with his family and yeah. everything. I didn't want to bother him. But he was yeah. very, very sweet and very nice. So anyway, that was kind of a fun wow. little story. You two guys have so much, but that was, the Lord was with you that yeah, day. Yeah, definitely. Oh, God. Definitely. Yes. And then a week yes. later, we went to Japan. Yes. Okay. And, and still in the James Bond mode real quick. Okay. The hotel we stayed in in Tokyo is the Otani, which is, if you've ever seen You Only Live Twice, mm -hmm. is the building they used as Osato Chemical okay. Plant, or the company. So that was kind of fun. I didn't know that until I got back to, oh, wow. to L.A. But anyway, but anyhow, we were do a con doing a convention for the Marines. Right in uh, Iwakuni, yeah. which was amazing. Was the most great. beautiful, wonderful people. Oh my God, we had the most amazing time with them and they could not have been more generous, more gentle, and more loving. And so, um, to Iwakuni Marines. <laughs> yeah, Iwakuni. Truly. We had so much trips. fun. Iwakuni. And we, yes. we stayed in Japan for mm -hmm. Two weeks, and we had a, an incident there. Uh, maybe it's us. I'm beginning to think it's us. <laughs> so, we, uh... so we're, first of all, they said there was this super typhoon coming in. We okay, go, yeah, okay. Category five typhoon. Anyhow. The, big, the biggest one since 1958, which killed 20,000 people or something yeah, like that. It was yeah, unbelievable. Yeah. So. so anyhow, we're on the 13th floor. The typhoon comes. It's coming. No, the typhoon is there. <laughs> and suddenly there's an earthquake. Yeah. And the whole a building. A 5.8 earthquake. It's, no, it was six It was like point. an Irwin Allen movie. You the remember Irwin Allen? The in America is not the as whole, big. <laughs> the whole, I don't know. The whole building is going That's back debatable. and forth and back and forth. Yes. And what I didn't know and what we didn't know was that Japan's buildings are on rollers. Right. So they do Go like yeah, that. they're very I mean, well engineered. We're, we're used to California where it goes. <laughs> yes, yes. But you we know. were terrified because the day we were supposed to leave is when the typhoon was coming in. They canceled all the flights, and we were stuck there. And a lot of people had to leave on buses right. and go to schools and shelters and all that. And we were—I was able to finagle mm -hmm. a, a hotel room, thankfully. 
But uh, yeah, it was a little a little touch and go there. But, then, but we had a great time in Japan. Though, right really after did. right after the earthquake, Richard says, "I need a drink." <laughs> I would need so, a drink. Yeah. Yes, so and I don't drink. We we go to this one room that's <laughs> down some floors, and and it was a cigar bar. In so the hotel, I said, "Ah, yeah. I can't do this." So we found out there was another bar. The Sky Bar. The sky bar. On top of the which building. Which is on top, surrounded by glass yes. windows. Which just seems like a safe place and to I'm go going, on a typhoon, right? Uh, <laughs> you know, if the, if the typhoon, the earthquake, the windows are going to crash. Yes. We met this British uh, father and son. Yeah, lovely couple. Very lovely nice. couple right next to us. And he said, well... At least if we die, we won't feel anything because we'll be drunk. <laughs> and um, okay. so, <laughs> so one way of anyhow. looking at it. One I guess. way of looking at it. Yes. We didn't so, know. I mean, we didn't know what mm-hmm. to expect. But everyone no. said to us, you know, this, these they build these buildings really well. So this is probably the safest place to yes. be. Yeah. So Richard says, we have to eat. And I said, I can't eat. I'm terrified. I'm absolutely terrified. Well, I'm vegan, so I have a limited menu. Very limited. Richard orders French fries, <laughs> pizza, and what was the third? There was one, thing? a third thing that wasn't. Uh, that was that also was vegetarian. fried. Maybe it was but that's fried, all they had. fried I mean, what I cheese got? or something. I mean, I think I got a big was, salad or something. Good. No, good. there was nothing healthy like oh, that. Okay. See, it was I, all I'm the fried. bad guy, and she has so, this, this condition that and, she. And we <laughs> ate it. We ate it, but we had an amazing time. We in did. Japan. We had a great time. And we love and Japan. It was wonderful. And uh, going back again next year. The, yeah, if they invite us, we, we, oh, we definitely we will. Would love and you to took it. care of some business. You talked about your shows and voices and stuff like that while you over there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. We were at a convention. It was a Comic-Con. Okay. And, so and as the so Marine Corps we, was putting on a sign, Comic-Con on the so base So we sign cool. autographs, okay. and we take pictures. And Well, you guys are stars. You're supposed to do that. <laughs> <laughs> do well, that. it was, believe yeah. me, it was our great honor to, to be asked to go over there and meet oh, those fellas and ladies. Oh, they the, were the amazing. The whole, the, yeah, the whole unit was phenomenal. Yeah. And everyone was. And the mayor of, this, of the town came, and we met yes. him. And the lieutenant colonel who was in charge of the oh camp was there. It was, the we, it was fantastic. People. Yes, the really nicest lovely. people. Yes. But what we're and and we do games. I've got three games I just did that I I can't say what they are. And Richard's got games. But what I'm really looking <laughs> forward to doing. Richard's is, got gain. You got gain. Yeah. No, you don't have gain. You have games. game. You're game. I'm a games player. You're I'm a not gamer. a player. I'm just you're, a voice you've actor. Been game. I'm actually but, terrible at I'm games. I'm watching this thing. If I ever get married again, I've been married three times. But if I ever get married again, I want to be married like you guys. Thirty-seven years. Isn't that something? Oh, that's something. That is. That is well, something. you know, you fight. We fought 39. for twenty years, and yeah. then I gave up. Right. <laughs> he and he <laughs> stole that line uh, from Joe Bologna. That's true. I did. I did steal it from Joe Bologna. Stole the May he rest wow. in peace. Yeah, so what can you talk job. about? What can you tell me else you're doing? Well, See, we like to get you guys on every, every three or four months because you always got oh, something thank you. We're always me. busy, thank knock you. wood. Thank yeah. You. Right. All right. Well, go ahead. But Ellen what, wants to talk about uh, your show. Well, go we'll ahead. talk about it. What <laughs> we're going to be doing, I've been teasing everybody for the last year that I'm going to release it. But this month, I'm going to release the teaser for the pilot that I wrote, and we'll have little episodes that will be airing very soon right afterwards. Richard and I star in it. I wrote it. We we star in it with Stephen Tobolovsky and Reeve Carney. Okay. And um, I had to sleep with the producer to get this part. (laughs) (laughs) I'm not not proud of it, Ron. (laughs) It was hard work, but somebody had to do it. Somebody had to do it. It's better you than somebody else. Well, that's true when you put it like that. Oh, Lord have mercy. (laughs) So, anyhow. uh, uh, Hot stuff. Hot stuff. (laughs) (laughs) So, um, so, So, we'll. Invite us back this month, yeah, and, and we'll we show you. will we'll show, show the teaser. I'd like to see it, yeah. yeah. I'd like to see it's, it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the teaser's six minutes. Yeah, six minutes. To let you know. And this is going to lead to what? To it's going to lead to our series. 
Knock wood. Where do you guys get ideas from? You're so, every time when you think that they're dead, they're, 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 they're the funnest of ideas, you come another one. Yeah. I could yeah. make a to. series out of what we're doing right now. <laughs> what we're doing right now has I think they've already ideas. done that, honey. <laughs> you know? Wow. It's, you know what it is? It's, it's, I never get writer's block because everything is right there in front of you. Your best friends. So now you're finally admitting you're stealing my best lines, right, for your show. Is that... Are you stealing mine? Oh, never, never. He's got a book that I'm editing right now. That's true. I'm writing a book right now. It's a it's spy about... thriller. Spy thriller. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And actually, this is true. This is, this is honest to God truth. <laughs> the name of my book was No Time to Die. And I'd been writing this for like <laughs> 10 years, and okay. they stole my title. Yeah, Those Bond James bastards. Bond. <laughs> it's okay. But it's James Bond, so I'll allow it. You know? Exactly. If somebody had to steal well, it, it just shows you that I'm better. I'm simpatico with yes, the way they think. Yes, yes. Well, don't think so much because they can hear. I know, apparently. <laughs> Isn't that unbelievable, Tony? This is a great day. Man. Great day. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So you got a book. What else you got coming out? I also have my children's book. Okay. I think I spoke about it last time. Somebody actually tried to steal my intellectual property and did a mass imprint Ooh. of it. So right after this show, uh, I have to go on to Amazon and, uh, and, and deal with this. Yeah. Uh, my book is called It's Hard to Give a Butterfly a Hug, and actually it's 1999. But the mass producing is selling it for seventy-one dollars. That's good. I'm not getting any of the money. That's not good. No. <laughs> That's not good at all. So, uh. so anyhow, you know, they're stealing my intellectual rights. So, yeah. I, right after this, I have yeah. to go home. What's the big guy going to do about it? Uh, I'm beat the hell out of there, <laughs> catch those bastards. Will you? I will. will you? I will. Will you? And I've been doing a lot of stuff. I got, uh, as you know, uh, Mortal Kombat. Okay. It just came out, Mortal Kombat 11. When okay. I play Raiden in that. Right. And there is some rumors that the Joker may make an appearance in that game, although I can't say. Who's the Joker? Point. The Joker. Who, you, I who, am. Who's the, who's the Joker? Who's the Joker? I think you know who the Joker is. Um, and then uh, uh, the other thing that's big right now is Kingdom Hearts. Right. Kingdom Hearts 3. Both of those games are number one games in the world right now. Wow. Yeah, and I play the villain in uh, Kingdom Hearts. It's amazing. Yeah. What about Lupin 4? Lupin. Well, Lupin 3, Ellen and I co-directed that. Yeah. That was a series on Toonami. And it, it was, was the number, number one, one show on, on Toonami. Toonami Cartoon Network. And then along with uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, which I played Joseph Joestar in. Yes, yes. And uh, the other one, uh, we, we... And we also... Richard plays Jigen in it, I play and Jigen, I played yeah. uh, Anita Nora and Elena Gotti and Josephine and Mama, and uh, we, and then we did all the an I did all the animal sounds, but then we did a field of sheep. Richard and me and one other actor. We voiced a field of sheep. It sounds very strange. <laughs> But yeah, we voiced. We <laughs> I voiced it. Tony sweating over here. He's like, <laughs> <That's it. laughs> His name is Tony Sweet. Tony Sweet. <laughs> Tony Sweet is sweating. Not sweat. Um, anyway, uh, but we uh, and then yes. the, then we I did another series uh -huh. and then Ellen and I are uh, we're partnering up. I play Jigen, uh, uh, this character uh, yes. Lupin. Yeah. He's one of his main henchmen, and uh, we uh, basically. Have a bunch of movies that we're doing, and, oh, a, and we another can, can series. Say, another. Can we say what the movies are? Uh, well, there's the Eternal. <laughs> going once. <laughs> <laughs> we, you got to remember, I've done over six hundred characters. Yeah. Yeah. And I've done hundreds. And we hundreds did one was too. the uh, the, the one, Legend the, of the Gold of Babylon, which just came out. Which is yes. actually you yeah. mentioned that. Yes. Which was made way way back in time, but never had a dub. So we mm -hmm. did the dub of that. And I and am then, one uh, of the. I am uh, the star in yeah, it. Yeah, she plays uh, the, the I main... I play Rosetta. Rosetta, the main character. Yes, the she's a wacky lady. Yes. Who's... So it's typecasting. <laughs> and then... Um, and then Eternal... Something with mermaid scales. Eternal Blood of the Mermaid Scale. That's uh, I it. I think that's the name. Oh. It's kind of a weird convoluted, yeah. but it's actually a really good Lupin movie. It's it really is. excellent. It's really good. Oh, and so. I play Masaki... Masa what did I play? Somebody Toto, Masaka Toto, or something. Something. Something like yeah, that. Yeah, that's something. great. 
Um, it's hard. It, you know, we go to conventions all the time, and they always ask us about all these characters that they play, and because people have their favorites, you know, yeah. and they watch the and stuff. And they know all the lines. They know the stuff better than we do, really. Yeah. But, uh, you know, That's the good. thing is we, we go from project to project That's to character good. to character, so we don't always remember everything, and it's yeah. kind of hard to, especially yeah. after you have 600 of them. You know? And we have another Lupin uh, series that we're going to be doing. That's right, another next one. Next year. And mm -hmm. another movie that we're going to be working on yeah. very soon. Wow. So there's a lot, a lot of stuff coming up wow. that we're very busy doing. And, and then some other live action uh, films and things we're going to be involved with. So, Right. Ellen Stern, Richard Lupin. Glad to have you guys. What did I say? You Epcot. said Richard Lupin. I sure did. I sure <laughs> I've barely did. become Lupin after doing so much <laughs> Lupin <laughs> material. Epcar. Richard Epcar. Epcar. There you go. Epcar. Excuse me. Epcar. There you go. <laughs> Would you do me a favor? Would you pass this down to him, please? Oh, good. All That's right. trademark for good luck. Uh, see, see, this is the way she does it. When I bring the money home, and she puts it all in there. And one for you, my dear. Of Thank course. You. Thank you of so course. much. Yes, Ron. Of course, it wouldn't be an evening unless we brought the usual, uh, madam. Oh, the well, usual. Thank you. Thank you. Thank thank you. you. So Always much. a pleasure. Eisenhower. So he warned us about the military-industrial complex. I oh, love okay. Flowers. Yes, he did. Yes, he, he did. did. I'm glad he did. It's always a pleasure seeing you two guys come back again and come back soon. I would we love will. to. Yes. We'll come we back time and show we you just the teaser. Sit down. Time to get up again. I yeah. know. It's terrible. Well, you got another lovely guest coming up. Yes, and Everyone do. should stay tuned and watch for that. Thank you all. Happy holidays to you. Thank you. Right. And Enjoy. happy holidays to you, yeah. too. Happy holidays. Thank you, the stars. Thank you very, Thank very you much. So much. Always a pleasure, yes, Ron. Indeed. This is the Actors' Choice. I'm your host, Ron Brewington. The studio of Harvey Brandman Photography as an artist proud to offer you a $100 discount off any photo package valued at $300 or more. Now, Harvey's been in the business for nearly a quarter of a century, and he certainly knows how to take care of his customers. So please give him a call today at 818-954-9294. That's 818-954-9294. You'll be glad you did. And by the way, please tell Harvey that you heard about his offer right here on The Actor's Choice. Haiku, style, passion, heart. It's the latest release from author and attorney Ron Irwin. The book was inspired by the author's first exposure to haiku well over a half century ago. Now, this experience produced within him a deep passion to experience Asia, which he later did as a U.S. Marine. The book is available in paperback at lulu.com. That's lulu.com. And Irwin says he'll give 20% of the net book sales split evenly between the Vietnam veterans of foreign wars and the Vietnam veterans of America. Please welcome a new sponsor. It's called The Actors Space with classes and private coaching by veteran actor Rob Brownstein. It's an actor space space. It's Thursday night classes for working actors and Tuesday night foundation and technique classes for early career actors. The idea is to build on each actor's strengths and who you are to help refine and reimagine your acting and your career. So, for more information, contact uh, class at uh, ronbronstein.com. That's class at ronbronstein.com com or 323-646-1268, 323-646-1268. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, the holiday season is upon us, and well, we at the Actors' Choice, or TAC as we like to call it, uh, we started a holiday giveaway last Friday, November 29th, and it runs through Friday, December 13th. So we're asking you to go to our Facebook uh, and see all the great prizes we got. We got tickets to give. We can see on the on the post today what we've got. We've got a lot of goodies this time. We've had some friends help us out and give it give it to our audience because these are the people who make us what we are. Now you go to our Facebook page. It's located at www.theactorschoicela.org. That's the LA. That's www.theactorschoicela.org and see the rules. Okay, okay. Happy holidays. Happy holidays to you. Book to the Future, Time Travel Message in a Capsule. It's a new book by author Larry Buford. It's a historical and faith-based account of how what we do and follow today will affect us tomorrow. The author also calls it an adventure for those who want to travel back through time. The book is now available in paperback for only $17.95 from Amazon, so please get your copy today. And now, a word from State Farm agent Carla Green. <laughs> Let me ask you something. What do you see when you look at your home and your car? Do you see a bundle? A combo deal. That's how other insurance companies see them. But a State Farm agent sees so much more. Because a State Farm agent sees your home and your car as more than just four walls and four wheels. They see the things you've worked really hard for. So why not give them the protection they deserve? Let me help you with that. Give me a call. State Farm Agent Carla Green, 
1-800-875-5675. I look forward to speaking with you.